So I'm going to remind everybody of the initial move on the jab. We're going to start with the jab again. I always try to move my hand first. Boom. And everything, my whole body and everything else that I do follows behind that initial move. And that way you're, you're not telegraphing what you're about to do. If I start by uh, adjusting my hand and then I go, I pull it back to try to get more power, that's going to let that person know what I'm up to. So best thing is like, like as if a string pulls your hand and then you get your body behind it. So work on that initial move. Let's double up the jab. Initial move, get the first one all the way back so the second one's just as big. One, two. One, two. So practice moving your shoulders twice. Move them, move them back, move them again. One, two. One, two. One, two. Try to make your jab come out of nowhere. Suddenly it happens. Unexpectedly it happens. It goes. Let's triple it up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's get a little in, in, and out. A little bit of footwork up on the toes. In, in, out. In, in, out. Initial move. In, in, out. Make it a surprise. In, in, out. Suddenly. Try to look innocent. And suddenly pounce. In, in, out. In, in, out. Hands up, hands up. Get each jab all the way back. All right, good job, you guys. Time, right cross, all the way around. Same thing, the string, pulling your hand. Everything else follows it. Get your belly button around to the other side, and then get your hand all the way back. Let's double up that action. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's add a left jab. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Little steps, little steps. In, in, out. In, in, out. In, in, out. In, in, out. Hands up high, keep it going. Rhythm. Light on your feet, turn, recover, turn, jab, turn, recover, turn, jab. Okay, let's get our old favorite, jab, jab, cross, jab. One, one, two, one. One, one, two, one. One, one, two, one. One, one, two, one. Step, step, turn, shuffle out. 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 Okay, time. Let's just get a little angle. And I want this one where the back foot moves over here. If, you're, if your body was a door, the hinge is right here in your front foot. And the door opens and lets your opponent step through. My door is closed. I open the door. And back. Let's do it. And back. And keep your hands up while you do that. Angle. 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 Okay. You guys, I want four punches in an angle. So we're going to get those little taps. One, two, three, four. Angle. One, two, three, four. Angle. One, two, three, four. Angle. One, two, three, four, angle. One, two, three, four, angle. One, two, three, four, back foot. Your front foot pivots like a hinge. Your front foot is the hinge. Two, three, four, angle. One, two, three, four, angle. One, two, three, four, angle. One, two, three, four, angle. Time. Okay, you guys, I want to go each time, like, like I'm punching it, if you're in a room, you're punching at that wall, then that wall, then that wall, all the way around. So we'll start here. One, two, three, four, angle. 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 One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, angle. 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 
One, two, three, four, angle. One, two, three, four, angle. One, two, three, four, angle. One, two, three, four, angle. One more time. Hey, good job. Let's get hooks. Swing, 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 swing. Turn, turn. Get your covering hand all the way up. Chin down. Hands up. Swing through, swing through. Swing, 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 swing. Really loose. Try to generate power and whip in that punch without expending excessive amounts of energy. So don't hold your breath. Swing it through as if you're holding onto a brick and swinging the brick. Let's double that up nice and loose. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Swing, 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 swing. Let your swing go free. Let it free. One, two, three, four. Swing, 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 swing. Body shots down to the body. Curve your wrist in a little bit. Get your knuckles on the target. Don't hit with your fingers. Dig with the knuckles, knuckles, hips. Look at the belly button. One side and then the other. Come on. One, two, 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 one, two. Let's double that up. Body, 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 body. See how my body recovers? So it's in the second one, too. Recover. Boom. One, recover. Boom. One, recover. Boom. You don't have to recover from the second one on this because you can fire the other side right Instead of doing the recovery, you can fire the other side. You're loading the other side on the second one. Boom, 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 boom. Body, head, body, head, body, up to the head, body, up to the head, body, up to the head, body, head, body, head, body, head, body. Head, body, head, body, head, body, head, body, head, body, head, uppercut, uppercut. Turn your body the same way, even though it might feel like you don't need to, we're still going to turn, 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 belly button, belly button, hips, 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 hips. Let's double that up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Keep the hands up. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Let's go body, head, 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 body, uppercut, body, uppercut, body, uppercut, body. Uppercut, body, uppercut, body, uppercut, body, uppercut, body, uppercut. Hey, good job, you guys. Different combination today. I want to go with a double jab and then a right hook to the body. So left, left, right. <clears throat> if I'm here and you're attacking me, you're going to hit me right back here, right back behind my elbow in there. Okay, jab, jab, crawl, jab, jab, hook. Jab, jab, hook. Jab, jab, hook. I like how Justine's shoulders and hips are really loose getting to the other side on that hook. So my belly button is here. It's moving, but it stays to the right side until this hook gets around to that side. Okay, we're going to reload that and fire the uppercut. Bang, 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 reload, bang. Bang, 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 and bang. Bang, 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 and bang. Bang, 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 and bang. You got to turn, recover, and then hit him with the uppercut. Turn on the hook, recover, and then drive that uppercut right up the pipe. Right up the pipe, straight up. So your forearm should be very vertical on that uppercut. It shouldn't be tipping. 
because that's when you, you know, you're trying to get, look at, look at my elbows. You're trying to do your uppercut right between there without your arm hitting on my elbows and stuff. So you got to get your arm like this as opposed to this. This isn't going to fit through there. Okay, so around, boom, up the pipe. Okay, bang, 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 recover, bang. 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 Okay, you guys, I want you to swing a left hook off of that to the head. So we're going to go bang, 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 bang. Okay, right through. Swing it right through. Bang, 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 recover, bang, bang. Bang, 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 recover, bang, bang. Bang, 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 recover, bang, bang. Very tight rhythm on the uppercut and the hook. It's like bang, 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 recover, bang, bang. Bang, 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 recover, bang, bang. Broken rhythm. Bang, 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 recover, bang, bang. Hey, you guys. After that hook to the head, I want you to slip your head this way. As if I'm firing the right hand. Maybe you threw that left hook and I was able to weave under it and fire a right hand back at you. Or maybe even I got hit by it and then I fire the right hand. Okay, so point is I want you to slip your head that way and make the right hand miss. Boom, boom, slip. Yeah. Let's add a left body shot. Okay, we do this all the time. We do that combination one, two, three, slip, boom. Now it's changed, the first part has changed, but the second part is just the same. Okay? Bang, 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 slip, bang. Okay? Boom, boom, slip, bam. Nice, Justine. Bam, 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 bam. Come on, come on. Come on. Work it, work it. Work it, work it. Okay, you guys. Let's say the person attacks again after that body shot, and I want the angle this time. The same angle that we've already worked on today, okay? So bang, 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 recover. Bang, bang, slip, bang, angle. End up over here, it's a new fight. Reset the fight on a new angle. <clears throat> See what Justine is doing? She's doing the four corners, the four walls. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Uppercut. Bang, bang, bang. Recover. Uppercut. Okay, you guys, straight punches up the middle. Let's get them up. Get them up. I want cover while you're punching. See where my hands are? See where I've got my hands operating? Right in that cylinder that goes out from my face. I'm keeping my chin down, hands up, peeking out. My view is going to be partially obstructed by my own hands. And we have to get used to that. It's like if you opened up your shades and you were looking out to see what's going on outside. Okay? you got to be used to that. Chin down. Chin down. We want to get rid of swimming. Look at this. Look how much of my face you see when I start swimming. I want pistons going through a cylinder. And I want the little taps of the feet. I want the loose hips and loose shoulders. Chin down, hands up. Work it, work it. Hey, don't point your elbows out. Get your elbows down. So every time they're back, you could block a body shot with them or a kick coming into your body. This is valuable space right here that people want to hit. And the more that you keep that space occupied also, the better. That's why we shouldn't let our elbows get behind us or stick our elbows out. All right, time. 45 second water break. Good job. Guys, I just want to point something out before we start up again in that I feel like people adjusted to that combination really well. That's what I've been looking for because it has something very similar to that other combination we've been doing for a while, but we introduced something new and people were able to take it in stride. Now that's 
That's a really good sign. That's a really good sign that we're getting somewhere with this. That the fundamentals that we're training on can be transferred over to different situations and stuff. Okay, that's really that's a really good accomplishment. Okay, you guys, let's get the uh, the two front kick. Oh, front stretch kicks. Okay, one step, step, step. One step, step, step. Stretch. Let's go outside. Alright, good. Let's get the front kicks. Two front snap kicks. One and two. Nice and loose. One and two. Let's get that some of that going. Kick with the ball of your foot. So you want to point your foot, but bend your toes back. So you can pierce inward with the ball of your foot. Justine, would you mind doing some on Bob? Uh, where, where they can see you? Yeah, there. Okay. So boom, boom, the ball of the foot. Boom, boom, inward. Mm. Hips, hips. Hips, hips. Okay, we're going to add our jabs. Okay. And again, initial move is so important because if you can get somebody to flinch when you're trying to set them up for a kick. So if we're setting up our kick with a jab, but you telegraph your jab, it's going to make that person so much more comfortable about blocking the kick or getting out of the way of the kick. So your initial move is like going boom, like that with that jab. And then the kick has to follow immediately while they're still sort of stunned by that, by that boo, okay? So let's do just let's um let's do just the left leg, and I want you to concentrate on boo bang like that, okay? Boo bang, okay? Boo bang, boo bang, boo bang. Okay. So the sooner the kick comes after the jab, the more chance you have of landing that kick, and the more you don't telegraph the jab, the more chance you have of them falling for that jab. Let's add another jab after and another kick and then jab out. So our usual combination, jab, kick, jab, kick, and jab. Jab, kick, jab, kick, and jab. Work on your initial move. So when I'm really working and I take my time in between and imagine that I'm sparring with somebody, I imagine and then whoa! You surprise them with that initial move, okay? Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. And then move around a little bit. Set them up, set them up. Set them up. Okay, I want you to stay with the same combination, only let's go with round kicks. Okay, jab, kick, jab, kick, and jab. Jab, kick, jab, kick, and jab. Ha, 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 ha. And, uh, keep going, keep going. Tip back on the last kick so you can turn more and still recover. If you don't tip back enough, you're going to feel like you can't recover. time. Let's have some whip kicks. Just this. Okay. okay. Be careful of the cover here. Bring that hand back. Boom. And then switch your cover back. Right here. Right here. Boom. 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 And jab. Let's reset and in your boxing stance after the kick and fire a jab. Reset. Fire that jab. Reset, fire that jab. <clears throat> I want you to jab before and jab after. Jab, kick, and then back to the jab. Jab, kick, reset, jab. Jab, kick, reset, jab. 
jab, kick, reset, jab. Okay, you guys, one more round kick thing. Uh, actually, a couple more round kick things. We've been working on that switch step round kick, and I love that feeling of being able to switch while I'm jabbing. First, though, let's review the, the switch. Remember, I was telling you, you don't want to jump up in the air because when you jump up in the air, we have to wait for gravity to pull you back down. And that can only happen so fast. So what I try to do is stay really low. I actually drop a little bit. I drop and switch. If you can drop down like an inch, you'll become weightless for that moment and you can switch your feet. Go ahead and, go ahead and put the kick in. Switch kick. Try to have really tight rhythm like that double jab rhythm. Switch kick. Switch kick. Switch kick. Okay, so I want you to jab on the switch while you drop, pop, like that, okay? Pop, like that, pop, bang, okay? Pop, bang, pop, bang. Okay, I try to keep my hips really loose so they can turn a little bit back with the kick. See if you can do that. Switch kick. Switch kick, the jab is on the switch. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Okay, you guys, I want to jab cross first. And so that's where we, one, two, three, like that. You can practice it without the kick first. One, two, three. 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 Get your covering hand up. And now you can add the kick. The kick is four. The switch is three with the jab included. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's nice rhythm Miss Justine has going there. One, two, three, four. Jab on the three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I want you to jab again after the kick. I love this thing of being able to integrate my hands and my feet kind of seamlessly, smoothly. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Let's add a whip kick. One, two, three, four, five. Six is the whip kick. Seven will be back to your jab. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then back to your jab. Reestablish your boxing stance. Okay, time. I want the low, high round kicks, both sides. We've been doing this as an exercise, it's really good for core strength. Whenever you can improve on a double kick, your single of whatever that kick is will improve. That's why I have you double punch so much because you have to work on the recovery and your, your foot has to recoil on this one, two, one, two, nice and loose. Let's watch Justine do this. Okay, low, high, and low, high. Low, high, and low, high. Low, high, and low, high. Yeah, get busy. Low, high, and low, high. Low, high, and low, high. Low, high, and low, high. Low high and low high. Low high and low high. I noticed that Justine was not holding her breath. A lot of times people hold their breath, especially on the second kick, on the high one. Low, I hold my breath. That's going to tire you out. Okay, you guys, time. I want you to take a 45 second water break. Good job. Excellent. Back in 10 seconds, let's go with a little bit of head movement. I want the slip in, slip in. 
See, like, I think, you know, like, it's good to sometimes just let your hands, you know, just let your, make sure you don't have tension so your hands are just, your arms are just hanging down. And that when you pick them up and put them up here, that they're still, they're hanging there. They're hanging. There's no tension. It's the very minimal amount that you need to engage probably your front delt to hold your hands up. There should be nothing else tensing up. No, uh, let's not get any traps in this. No traps like this. No, just, just this, this, this. Okay, let's go to the one, two, slip, slip, one, two, slip, one, two, slip, slip, two, slip, slip, one, two, slip, one, two, slip, slip. Nice and loose. Slip, one, two, slip, one, two, slip, slip, one, two, slip, one, two, slip, slip, two, slip, slip, one, two, slip, slip, two, slip, slip, one, two. Okay, today I just want an out without footwork. We've been working a lot on this one, which I think is an important one. It's a very important one. That's when you're usually, though, that's when you want a little more distance. Somebody has a really long reach or they're really close to you, so you need to use your feet too. I want just the out with the head. One, two, slip, slip, out. One, two, slip, slip, out. Keep your hands up. One, two, slip, slip, out. One, two, slip, slip, out. So you're going to pull your head out. Pull your head out and then get back. One, two, slip, slip, out. Let's jab out of the out, okay? Out of the pull, you pull your head out and then jab them. Okay, one, two, slip, slip, out, bang! Oh. Okay, the left jab. Slip, slip, out, bang! Slip, slip, out, bang. Tag them with the jab, pop them with the jab, really quick. And then I want that little angle, you guys. I want the little angle, okay? So, one, two, slip, slip, out, bang, angle, come back. So, I don't want it to be too confusing, okay? One, two, slip, slip, out, pop, and angle. Pop and angle. Commit to the pop, shift forward into the pop, put your shoulders into the pop. Slip, slip, out, pop, angle. You angle after pop? Yeah, well, so, so you guys, the, Justine said you angle after you pop them, and yes, that's true. I mean, it's right when you pop them, you take the angle. So you'd be pulling your hand back from that jab and, and opening the door at the same time. It's like saying, welcome, come on in, okay? Yeah, I like the feeling of that. That's a nice, nice little combination. Very useful. Has a lot of defense and slipperiness in it. Okay, time. Let's get the side kicks. Okay, so our hands are up. We have one and two. One and two. One and two. One and two. One, two. One and two. It's so useful, I think, to, you know, keep a nice rhythm on it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, you guys, I want to jab, jab, cross up the middle. Jab, jab, cross, one and two. Jab, jab, cross, one and two. Jab, jab, cross, one and two. Three opponents. Relax your breathing. Nice rhythm. Jab, jab, cross, kick and kick. Jab, jab, cross, kick and kick. Jab, jab, cross, kick and kick. Tip that body. Work those love handles. Come on. Jab, jab, turn. Tip, tip. Jab, jab, turn, tip, tip. Don't shorten up that right hand. Go deep on that right hand.
Okay, Ty. Good job, you guys. Let's get back kicks up the middle. So I want, I want to get more of a sideways kicking stance. So you can stand on the line right now. And we're going to turn and look over the shoulder, straight up the middle. Turn and look, switching the cover. Bang, get back. Turn and look, switch the cover, bang. Turn and look, switch the cover, boom. Now we already know, even without tipping our body and thrusting our hips into the target, just the strength of our legs with our glutes and our quads, there can be a significant amount of power in this kick. But if you do add this, this thing, you guys, watch my hips. I'm right over by this frame, this edge of the camera here. And when I, when I go, watch my hips, boom. And I can still recover because I leaned back. And so I create that teeter-totter that I can use for my recovery. I'm creating that teeter-totter. So that's gonna add significant power and also enable you to recover. Okay, now I want to practice the out with the feet getting into that position from your boxing stance. So you're boxing, you're boxing here, somebody attacks, take that out, boom, and then recover and get out. So I want that out, in with the hips, out, and recover. Out, out, already turned out, boom, and then... That looks really good. Okay, you guys. You know, one of the things that we, we don't think about this that often, but you know when you punch someone, you know, they're way more likely to punch you back than if you don't punch them, right? And so a lot of times you see boxers when you watch, a lot of times they're punching someone actually wanting the other person to punch them back. It's like ask please punch me because I noticed you don't recover that well from that punch or you stay there for that one moment so they draw you in so they can hit you right you know make you miss and make you pay okay so let's 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 mess with that a little that feeling so I go for a one two they hit back and they're coming deep on this one and that's when I go out and boom and then recover out okay so I have that one two slip slip out bam okay this is more simple than what we did. We added another out and in before. I think it's a little too complicated right now, but this one, one, two, slip, slip, out, back kick, out. One, two, slip, slip, out, back kick, out. That looks really good, you guys. Do it with rhythm. Remember, do it with rhythm. Get the power from pushing your hips in and leaning back. Okay, leaning away, you're not really leaning back, you're leaning forward because your back is facing the target. Boom. But the more you lean, the more you can thrust your hips into the target, the stronger the kick will feel, feel from that teeter-totter balance. <clears throat> okay, beautiful job you guys, let's get some weaving. Okay, head movement, back to head movement. Okay, let's leave the arms down and look at the shoulders. Okay, so come up with your left shoulder in front, then your right shoulder. Left shoulder, right shoulder. I don't mind pivoting my back foot on these a little bit. I usually don't pivot my front foot, but, you know, like, I can show you. See, see Justine's right foot there? She pivots as she comes up on the one side. <clears throat> it doesn't mean you can't weave without doing that pivot, but... You know, it makes it feel looser, a little bit looser, and you're practicing that turning, which is so valuable. Okay, you guys, we're up on the one side, right cross, up on the other side, left hook. Right cross, left hook. Hands are riding my face in the weave. I don't take for granted that I'm not going to get hit while I'm ducking, because I see this all the time, you guys. Look, you see this? My hands come off. You gotta relax and keep your hands there. The more relaxed you get, the more comfortable you're gonna be keeping your hands up. It's not gonna restrict you. <clears throat> okay. 
that is a very useful combination in getting yourself comfortable with coming out of a duck with a punch or ducking right after a punch. How about that? It goes both ways. Okay, let's get the left uh, hook kick here. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Nice and loose and relaxed. Whoa. Try to keep it straight across. It goes straight out just to this side of the target and then across. It doesn't go way around. You guys, you're not going to get anyone that way. I mean, you might get lucky, but why, why rely on luck? Okay, let's improve our odds by not swinging wide. Okay, and crack the whip. Never locking the knee joint. Let's come back with a round kick. A one, two. Right away. Yeah. A one, two. And one, two. Nice and loose and rubbery. One, two. One, two. One, two. Let's add a side kick. Look at Justine. Hook round and side. Come on. And hook round and side. Yeah, get your heel into the target on the side kick. Pull your knee back for the side kick. My, my, my hook kick comes from this side. This, if this is the line, if I get right in the center of the frame, my hook kick comes from that side. My round kick comes from this side. And then my side kick has to come back from this side again. Okay, so it's really hook, round, and side, like that. Hook, round, pull it back, side. Get behind that side kick. Stomp with that side kick. You got to pull your knee back before you kick it out. Nice job, you guys. Time. Okay, let's switch sides. And I want the hook kick here. Boom. Again, nice and straight out. Nice and straight. Boom. Straight out. Huh. Nice and relaxed. Keep your covering hand up. Covering hand here for you guys is your left hand. Your left hand is up here, staying here in case somebody round kicks or hooks you. Okay, hook round, nice and loose. Hook round, hook round. Yeah, try to get good balance. Try to feel, I want you to be loose for that second kick, not forcing it. One, two, like when we do a double jab, Another reason why we do it is learn to not force it. Hook round. Hook round. Can you pull back and do a side kick? Hook round. Pull back side kick. Hook round. Pull back side. Justine's getting a really nice stop there. Hook round and side. Good, good, good. Hook round. Hook round and side. Hey, it's not easy. It's not easy. All right, time. Okay, you guys, before we take a water break, I want to get that combination we've been working on, jab, jab, cross, one, two, three, four. So we're going to go in, in, turn, one, two, three, four. 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 Nice and loose. How loose can you be? Uh, can you keep your shoulders and hips turning throughout? Shoulders and hips turning, smooth rhythm. I want especially turning on the right hands, okay? Turn on those right hands. That's where we start to shorten up to try to quicken up our rhythm. I'd rather have you go a little slower and get more turning on the right hand and making that the habit. As your rhythm gets better, you'll be able to increase the speed. <clears throat> I want that little angle on the end. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Keep your hands up for the, open the door, invite them in. Two, three, four, five. Okay, time. 45 second water break. Good job, you guys. Yeah, we, we're out of time.
Okay, you guys, time. Let's be back in 10 seconds. Um, we're running a little lean on time, but I feel like it was a very productive day. And so I don't think I'm going to do the interactive jabbing at you today, but I'll, I'll bring, I promise I'll bring that back on Thursday. I know you guys like that. I like that it's a, you know, it's a connection and stuff, but I wanted to try a new uh, lunging combination today. And we'll call it around the world lunges. Okay. So we're going to go like this, step forward and come back, step to the side, come back, step to the back, come back, step to the back, step to the side, step to the front, step to the front, step to the side, step to the back, step to the back, step to the side, step to the front, step to the front, step to the side. Keep it going. Try to get a good stretch and keep good posture. So on that side lunge, you got to keep your chest up and take your hips back. Don't do this. Don't bend over. Try to keep the top of your chest up like we do in back kicks. I have to leave you there a while because it's got a kind of a slow pace to it. So. Okay, time. We usually do 40 switch lunges. Today, you're just going to do 20. 20. Okay, so I want this, okay, for 20. Try to make your feet land at the same time. I love that that it requires rhythm actually so